Right now I'm getting some potatoes started. There's something about a mashed potato, which is what I'm making, sitting next to piccata, which is a bit of a lemon sauce on either chicken or you might have had it on veal. I'm making it on chicken tonight. And I'm gonna have some uh, potatoes. A lot of the time you might see pasta with that dish, but I like it with potatoes. So I'm gonna get the potatoes started here. Idaho potato, I have five already cut and I am just cutting the last one, putting it in cold water and then adding some salt and bringing it to a boil. And that's how I make my potatoes. And just some salt. When you make mashed potatoes, you wanna put some salt in your water, just like when you're making pasta, because it actually brings flavor to the potato. So get that to high, keep an eye on that. So I am cutting up some chai from my mashed potatoes. So I'm just taking simple mashed potatoes and creaming them up with a little bit of mascarpone cheese and some fresh chopped chai, which I'm getting all set here. Let's see, maybe just a little more. And I think the potatoes are all ready. I gotta make sure that they are cooked enough. Just the other day, I was making baked potatoes at dinner and I took them out of the oven and I thought they were absolutely fine. <laughs> and when I got them on everybody's plate, they were too hard. So I just pressed in there and I can tell that it's tender enough. So I'm just gonna drain the potatoes over here at the sink. Now that looks great. Actually, I'm gonna just pull this over and dump the potatoes right back in here. Okay, that's great. These are definitely done enough. So I've heated a little bit of milk, one cup, which you can do in the microwave or you can just do it right here on the stove top. Sometimes if I don't have any milk, I just hang on to some of that water from the potatoes that have cooked and I use that for my liquid. But I'm making this a little bit special tonight and about four ounces of mascarpone cheese, which is just a little something special just to switch up my mashed potatoes and a teaspoon of salt. And now all you have to do is mash. And you can just go ahead, your potatoes should be soft enough. And the challenge is really when you make mashed potatoes, having enough liquid in there but not too, too much liquid. And I didn't put any butter in here because I think that creamy, creamy cheese is fine. And you know what else about this is I like to leave it a little bit chunky, just a little chunky. And what I'm gonna do is just go in here and taste and see if I have enough salt before I go any further. Mmm, ooh, yummy, that is good, okay. Normally this is one of my favorite jobs to get the boys to do. But since they're out, I can't grab them. All right, so then just take your chive, and I'm not gonna mash the chive in there, I'm just gonna fold it in, just because I don't really wanna mash it. I just want a gentle, light, oniony flavor. Mmm, smells great. And it's amazing how something like chive, with just a very, very mellow flavor, can really take the potatoes and just change them up. And it really doesn't take much.